Hi, this is Elise Jewell. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use a shared test calendar. In this case, uh, we're talking about the uh, high school test calendar. In order to view it, you will need to contact me and I will uh, set you up with a uh, sharing invitation. You should get a sharing invitation from me in your Outlook uh, email. Let's go ahead and open this one. Okay, in the email, uh, there's not much helpful information except here in small print, it says add this calendar. By clicking on this, it will add the calendar to your um, list of calendars. You should get a message here that says it was added. Click OK. Now when you go to calendar down on the bottom left and you open that, you should now see a list of the available calendars that you have that have already been shared with you. Uh, in this case, there is a personal calendar under My Calendars, and then there are two shared calendars. Uh, in your particular case, you may only see one. Okay. Uh, when it originally opens up, you will probably see it with the personal calendar and possibly the shared calendar already selected. If not, uh, let's go ahead and we've got it selected. Now you can see here is we, we've got two different calendars showing up. If I click another one, then we'll have all three showing up side by side. It gets a little confusing seeing all that and in order to make sure that you're working in the correct calendar you might want to close those that you really don't need. You can do that by either unchecking it or by clicking on the X next to the name. We're going to work in the high school calendar. As you can see, there are lots of tests and other things scheduled. There are even uh, uh, holidays listed so that you don't by accident put a test on a holiday. Let's go ahead and add a test. I'm going to add it on the 22nd by double clicking. Now I'm going to put in a sample test for you. Um, if this is something that you have for uh, all of your class sections for a particular class, you could make it an all-day event. Or if you only want it to be for one specific class, uh, let's say maybe it's just for one section of biology, then you can uncheck all day and then possibly put in the date and time, the time that that uh, particular test will happen. In this case, it's going to be for all sections of, of this particular class, so I'm going to check the box for all day. I don't really want everyone to get a reminder for this, so I'm going to uncheck Reminder. Uh, the location, I'm going to go ahead and put in my name for the location so that we know which teacher put this test in the calendar. So I'm going to save and close. And now you see my new test with my name next to it and it's scheduled for the 22nd. Uh, if you want to go back, if you decide you made a mistake, you can either you can click and hold it and then move it to another day by clicking and dragging. Or you can click and you can delete it. Oh, um, it's going to ask you to save your changes. And then if you really decide you don't want it there, you can delete it by either pressing the delete key or clicking on delete up at the top. Just make sure you have it selected and then it will delete it and it'll ask you to confirm. If you have any questions on using the calendar, please let me know. That's ajewel at pentigo.com. Thanks.